Welcome to the Global North Korea. Uh, my name is Son Yeol. I am the president of the East Asian Institute, which runs this program. Uh, it is uh, a distinct honor uh, for me to uh, host uh, this uh, conversation with uh, Minister of uh, Unification, uh, Kim Young-ho. Uh, thank you, Minister, for being here. Uh, thank you for inviting me to explain Yoon Suk Yeol government North Korea policies. I appreciate great effort by East Asian Institute uh, in its uh, global North Korean program. I hope uh, East Asia Institute continue uh, to make effort to promote North Korean issues and North Korean human rights problems. Thank you very much. As you uh, know, uh, Minister Kim uh, is also uh, Professor Kim. <laughs> uh, is a uh, leading expert in international relations in Korea before joining the government 100 days ago. Uh, so it's going to be a very rich and uh, thoughtful conversation. Uh, let me begin with uh, the Camp David uh, summit. Uh, in that summit, uh, three leaders from Korea, Japan, and the United States uh, adopted three documents, namely a spirit of Camp mm -hmm. David, uh, Camp David principles, uh, and commitment to consult. Uh, these documents uh, address uh, number one, reaffirmation of uh, goal of complete denuclearization of North Korea condemnation of North Korea's conventional military actions, such as uh, missile launches, uh, and joint responses to illicit uh, cyber activities, uh, and resumption of dialogue without preconditions, uh, and finally efforts to promote uh, human rights within North Korea. Uh, with this, uh, would you tell us your assessment uh, of these documents, and particularly pertaining to the Ministry of Unification? Mm. Uh, before uh, we uh, discuss uh, the main content of the agreement at Camp uh, David, I want to emphasize one of the main uh, characteristics of Yoon Song Yeol uh, government uh, foreign uh, policy approach uh, is a value-based uh, approach. Uh, this approach is also reflected in its principled North Korea uh, policies. Uh, the Republic of Korea and the United States and Japan uh, shares uh, common uh, values uh, such as uh, freedom, democracy, and uh, human uh, rights. Uh, these shared uh, values uh, laid the foundation uh, for the agreement uh, at uh, Camp uh, David uh, to uh, delete North Korean nuclear and uh, missile uh, uh, threat. And you mentioned, uh, this document will contribute to maintaining peace and stability on the Korean Peninsula as well as uh, uh, in the East Asian uh, uh, region. Uh, North Korea's uh, nuclear and missile threat continue to increase with its uh, missile uh, provocations and the uh, preparations for seventh nuclear test at the uh, Punggye-ri. So the three leaders need to uh, strengthen uh, deterrence uh, measures uh, against the uh, North Korean uh, uh, threat. Uh, in addition to uh, strengthening uh, deterrence uh, measures, the three uh, countries uh, decided uh, to sell North Korea's missile information on a uh, real-time uh, basis. Uh, three countries uh, decided uh, to uh, conduct uh, trilateral uh, naval uh, exercises uh, to cope with uh, North Korea's uh, uh, submarine uh, uh, operations. Uh, with uh, these strengthened deterrence uh, measures, uh, three leaders offered North Korea to come to the nuclear negotiation tables uh, without uh, preconditions. 
And, and another important uh, agenda at Camp David was a uh, North Korean human rights issue. Uh, three leaders agreed to have high-level uh, consultations uh, to promote uh, the issue. Uh, the leaders also confirmed their commitment uh, to find immediate solution uh, for abductees, detainees, mm -hmm. and uh, the prisoner of Korean War. Uh, when I appointed the Minister of uh, Unification, I decided uh, to establish a special task force to deal with uh, uh, this uh, issue. So we uh, make great effort uh, to solve uh, this issue after uh, Camp David uh, agreement was uh, reached. And also uh, regarding unification issue, uh, three leaders agreed to pursue a new vision for free and peaceful uh, unified Korea. Uh, in the past, uh, United States and ROK uh, leaders adopted a declaration uh, that uh, future Korea's unification uh, must be based on liberal democracy and market economy. At this Camp David uh, summit uh, meeting, uh, Japan uh, joined the uh, United States in supporting for a new vision uh, for free and uh, a peaceful, unified uh, Korea. Uh, with uh, the adoption is the, uh, this new uh, vision, uh, unification uh, diplomacy of the ministry will gain uh, momentum. Uh, so uh, unification ministry will continue uh, to achieve uh, the goal of peaceful unification in line with uh, uh, Camp David agreement. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, you, you start from uh, youth government's foreign policy mm -hmm. that uh, you characterize as uh, value-based uh, you know, foreign policy. Mm -hmm. And in that regard, uh, you come down to uh, you know, North Korean mm -hmm. issues, particularly uh, deterring mm -hmm. uh, North Korean attempts to develop uh, weapons. Um, and uh, you mentioned uh, human rights issues, uh, which is increasingly important uh, as the government emphasizes mm -hmm. universal mm -hmm. values. And third, uh, you mentioned uh, unification vision, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, has been agreed mm -hmm. uh, by the United States and Japan mm -hmm. to uh, end uh, you know, unification diplomacy will be you know, leverage it in that, in that way. So that is a very good start. My second question is, uh, is about uh, Audacious uh, Initiative. Mm -hmm. The recent uh, Camp David summit focused intensively on the measures to deter North Korean uh, nuclear threat and then uh, dissuade uh, nuclear development through sanctions and mm. pressure, which is among the youth government's mm. 3D uh, North Korean uh, policy. Could you uh, explain the continuity and change between the audacious initiative that came out last year and this uh, Camp David uh, that was came out in August? Mm. President Yoon Song Yeol proposed the audacious initiative in his famous uh, uh, national Liberation Day speech in August 2022. Uh, this initiative will improve North Korea's economy and its people's uh, livelihood in stages mm -hmm. if North Korea uh, give up its nuclear weapons program and returns to the nuclear negotiation uh, table. However, North Korea does not want to give up its uh, nuclear uh, programs. Under these uh, circumstances, uh, it is very important uh, to strengthen uh, combined deterrence measures against uh, North Korea's nuclear and missile uh, threat. In addition to deterrence, 
uh, three countries need to work together to dissuade North Korea uh, from developing its nuclear program. Uh, for North Korea uh, to develop its nuclear program, they need uh, funding and money. Uh, North Korea uh, tried to uh, get uh, illegal foreign uh, currency, cyber uh, hacking. Uh, so uh, three countries need to create a, a strategic environment in which North Korea uh, give up its uh, nuclear program and return to uh, dialogue by uh, strengthening uh, sanctions against uh, uh, the North Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, this audacious initiative take a holistic approach of achieving North Korea's denuclearization, coordinated uh, trilateral uh, cooperation is essential in the process of implementing this audacious uh, initiative based on 3D strategies. It's why three leaders at Camp David agreed to support President Yoon's audacious uh, initiative. Mm -hmm. uh, so in that uh, regard, uh, we uh, look more closely mm -hmm. uh, at North Korea. North Korea uh, currently pursues a uh, frontal breakthrough strategy, mm -hmm. um, and refuse to engage a dialogue uh, focused on you know, increasing nuclear capabilities, um, constitutionalize uh, nuclear force building policy, mm -hmm. you know, continue anti-American front as demonstrated by uh, mm -hmm. Russia North Korea summit, and support for Hamas, uh, and uh, aim to make its uh, status as a nuclear armed state irreversible. Uh, so given uh, this situation, which is really challenging to audacious uh, initiative, what efforts do you think are needed uh, in, in, uh, from uh, South Korea and uh, international community to uh, achieve this very difficult task of denuclearization? Now, first of all, it is uh crucial to make North Korea understand that uh, its nuclear development will not uh, yield uh, anything uh, beneficial to North Korea. It is important to make it clear that the international community cannot recognize North Korea as a nuclear uh, state. And North Korea is trying to take advantage of uh, unstable international environment, as you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, Kim Jong-un held a summit uh, with uh, uh, Putin, and North Korea has provided artillery sales uh, to Russia and in return try to get technologies for military surveillance satellites. Uh, so international uh, community needs to work together to prevent uh, Russian North Korean military uh, cooperation from further destabilizing uh, the Korean uh, uh, peninsula. A UN Security Council and international community uh, put uh, sanctions against uh, North Korea to dissuade uh, from developing nuclear and missile programs. However, uh, China and Russia uh, sanctions against uh, North Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, they are also very reluctant uh, to put new uh, sanctions against uh, North Korea when North Korea violated uh, UN uh, sanctions. So we need to find a way to make China and Russia play a more responsible mm -hmm. and constructive role in implementing uh, UN uh, Security Council resolution. As you mentioned before, uh, North Korean uh, human rights issue, humanitarian conditions uh, are becoming an increasingly important 
issue, and uh, you told us that the uh, basic uh, principles and uh, philosophy of this government's foreign policy is value-based. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in that regard, uh, South Korean governments uh, put uh, special attention mm -hmm. to humanitarian and human rights issues, and that is also uh, addressed in the Camp, De Camp David mm -hmm. uh, principle. So, uh, how is uh, the Ministry of uh, Unification advancing uh, cooperation with the international community uh, to improve uh, North Korean humanitarian conditions. Uh, Yoon suk yeol government approach to addressing uh, human rights issues in North Korea uh, is based on universal uh, human values. A free and peaceful unified Korea cannot be realized if freedom and human rights are not guaranteed mm -hmm. for North Koreans. We need to gain a thorough understanding of deteriorating human rights conditions in North Korea. The Yoon suk uh, government published the Human Rights Report in North Korea in 2023. It is the first government-level report the report will be published on an annual uh, basis to disseminate mm. uh, human rights conditions in North Korea. The Ministry of Unification conducted interviews with all North Korean defectors when they enter the resettlement center mm -hmm. called HANA-1. Mm -hmm. uh, the government will continue uh, to uh, disseminate uh, this information to uh, gain domestic and international uh, consensus on the seriousness of uh, this uh, issue. Uh, recently, uh, we have invited the members of diplomatic mission in uh, Seoul to explain the government direction uh, for North Korean human rights and how we will strengthen the cooperation with international uh, community. Uh, we plan to hold a such a meeting on a, a regular basis uh, to improve uh, awareness in North Korean human rights uh, situations. And also, the Yoon suk yeol government uh, is working closely with uh, United Nations. Mm. Uh, the Yoon suk yeol government uh, this year co-sponsored the UN resolutions on North Korean uh, human uh, rights. And uh, the government uh, is supporting and working together with domestic and international uh, human rights uh, NGOs. Uh, the Ministry of Unification holds Korea Global Forum uh, to discuss and promote North Korean human rights with uh, distinguished scholars and activists around uh, the world. And the Yoon suk uh, government has initiated the establishment of the National North Korean Human Rights Center. Uh, the budget for this center has been secured with the help of the uh, National yes. Assembly. The center will play an important role uh, for promoting North Korean uh, human uh, rights uh, uh, issue. Uh, finally, uh, I want to make uh, that uh, the government is pursuing humanitarian assistance to North Korea, regardless of political and military uh, situations. So. Uh, human humanitarian assistance to North Korea cannot be separated uh, from promoting North Korean human rights uh, mm -hmm. situations. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, now uh, let's turn to um, unification mm -hmm. issue. You uh, mentioned a uh, unified uh, Korean peninsula that is free and peace. Could you tell us a bit more about that vision and um, are you taking steps uh, mm. to realize uh, those visions? 
Yes, a vision for a free and peaceful unified Korea uh, secured support from the United States and Japan at the historic Camp David uh, Summit, as you mentioned. Uh, we will promote this vision on occasions of bilateral and multilateral uh, summit in the future uh, to gain support from international uh, community. Uh, Ministry of Unification will do the same through uh, international dialogues and uh, meetings with diplomatic missions uh, in uh, Seoul. As uh, more countries throughout the world support our new vision uh, for free unified Korea, a more favorable environment uh, will be created for the peaceful unification based on the principles of freedom, democracy, and human uh, rights. So the Ministry of Unification will continue to make great effort uh, to achieve the goal of uh, peaceful mm -hmm. unification by promoting a new vision mm -hmm. uh, for unification. Uh, we are um, almost closing <laughs> this dialogue. Uh, I, understand, I understand that the last week um, was uh, your uh, 100 days in office. Uh, can you uh, reflections on those 100 days and also your future plans as minister? Uh, maybe you can uh, give us uh, some uh, specific areas you really want to uh, move forward? Yes, after my appointment as Minister of Unification, organizational changes has been made uh, to COVID four main uh, tasks. Mm -hmm. Number one, uh, we will continue uh, to make great effort to achieve the goal of a complete, verifiable, irreversible dismantlement of, of North Korea's nuclear programs. So the Yoon Suk Yeol government proposed the audacious initiative to North Korea. We urge North Korea uh, to return to the nuclear negotiation uh, tables. Uh, second, uh, we will come up with diverse measures to promote North Korean human rights issue. The Ministry of Unification will announce the human rise roadmap for North Korea at the end of this year. With this uh, roadmap, the ministry will work uh, together with domestic and international human rights uh, NGOs. Uh, third, uh, we will make diplomatic effort to secure support for a new vision for a free and peaceful unified uh, Korea. Uh, the ministry will make systematic preparations to achieve uh, this vision on the governmental uh, level. Uh, finally, uh, we will help North Korean defectors settle down in South Korea. In December of this year, the ministry will hold the job fair for the North Korean defectors mm -hmm. uh, for the uh, first time. Mm -hmm. uh, this job fair will help North Koreans uh, to uh, find a way to secure a distant mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. uh, the Ministry of Unification uh, will be uh, dedicated to realizing the mandate of Constitution of the Republic of Korea, uh, which is uh, a peaceful unification based on the principles of freedom and democracy and human rights. I ask for your interest in and support for the policies and the activities of the Ministry of Unification. Thank you for uh, the great conversation. Um, I'm sure that the audience uh, around the world uh, really enjoyed it um, and also thank you for your service to the nation um, and uh, once again uh, it, is, uh, it is an honor 
uh, and privilege to have you here uh, at Global uh, North Korea. And on behalf of EAI, uh, we wish you a, a great success. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.